Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Public News Podcast. I'm here with the Crystal Tears. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey. All right. Yeah. yeah so I got Eric, Hector, Shane, uh, is this Nesta, Nesta, yeah, and then uh, Naomi and Hector. Uh, hey, thank you guys for coming here. I really appreciate thank it. You. Yeah. And uh, special, special shout out to my man right here, Eric. Uh, you know, Eric came to me a long time ago, and you know, he had you know, VA records and. Told me he says you know I got you know pretty good uh, following and kind of in the music scene and every every gig you do here man everything you do it so we've been successful and you know thank you for that man thank you uh, thanks is to you honestly uh, providing this space for the community and yeah. like welcoming welcoming everyone in open heart open mind it's been really great honestly so yeah. thank you yeah absolutely so um you know. You know, part of the start of the whole music scene was to be able to give people a place to come and, and play, you know, and no judgment. You know, you want to come here, you want to play punk, you want to play Bondo, you want to play whatever, you know what I mean? And, you know, and Eric, like I said, you know, he, he brought so many great bands through here, you know, and this is second, last time you guys played about, about a month, two months ago and killed it. The place was packed and, you know, he's here again tonight. So, uh, you know, the Crystal Tears, where did, where did that start from? How did you guys, you know, how did, how did all this come together? Yeah, well, we formed last year, uh, first as Los Bayos. So uh, Shane and I used to play in a band called Maria uh, back in the early 2000s. And uh, we stopped playing music for about 13 years. Uh, and then I reached out to, to Heck, Hector, who played in the Avocados, a yay band. And I said, uh, you know, do you guys want to play music again? Because uh, music was something that was not in my life for a long time. Uh, over 13 years and so I reached out to him and Shane and and uh, they said yeah let's do it uh, and then Eckhart joined who was the sound engineer for many of the yay recordings that we released in, to, in the 2000s Nesta is an old friend of, of Shane's uh, surfing with um, your dad right yeah yeah I've and known Nesta since he was in diapers yeah <laughs> he's still in diapers <laughs> <laughs> and then Naomi actually came to a Yay show. Uh, I would think it was a goth night. It was, it was goth night. Yeah. yeah. One of the first goth nights we did here. Yeah. Uh, and Naomi is just an amazing, amazing talent. She also plays in uh, Nights on Neptune. <laughs> yeah, Nights on Neptune. I, I came to that goth night show because I'm like, this is such a sick venue. Like, who do I ask to get a chance to play here and everybody told me like oh find Bayo and he happened to be dressed as like Hulk Hogan yeah was that was, like, uh, it was yeah. So, he was wearing a blonde wig that was a joker that night you around. were yeah. you looked awesome <laughs> yeah, it was a fun night, I don't know yeah. if you remember I was dressed as um Bride of Frankenstein yes I got a chance to be on the stage for a moment <laughs> yes yes I think I took a picture uh, with you I was like because yeah. you were so dope I was like come over here let me take a picture yeah I wish I had known about the glow in the dark lighting because that I would have incorporated that yeah well, hey, the, you know, so you guys are newly formed, and, you know, a lot of times you just get to go and play your music. You know, that's why I started doing the, the podcast, so people get to see your faces and get to know who you are. And, you know, because you'd be amazed how many people watch these, the, the, the podcast and, like, man, I resonate with that person. You know, and then they come and it gets them into a whole different type of music that they weren't even into, you know. And it, it's, it's crazy how, you know, being able to do that. So, if you, get, you know, I'd like to go around and you guys introduce yourselves, you know, what you play and a little history. You know, that, that'd be really cool. So well, we can start down there. Hello, hello. I'm Shane Castroni. I play the bass for the Crystal Tears. And um, yeah, definitely grateful to be here. Born and raised here in Oxnard, in South Oxnard. Um, and uh, again, we grew up with uh, playing like backyard shows, house parties and that sort of thing. And so just having this space is, is really special to us like that you create this platform for everyone so thank you for that yeah yeah um, absolutely yeah it's a it's a big deal especially for these young musicians that are just starting out um but yeah grateful to be here and uh yeah we're just getting started we're just getting started my name is hekar and the way i actually came into the band kind of a long story cut short here he goes i actually met eric because he was uh one of the very first clients that i had when i had a recording studio way back in the day maybe mid 2000s something like that you know it's funny uh, yeah. i was digging through uh, an old room and i found a newspaper clipping from one of your old oh, ads yeah like and i'd be a reporter that might be how right. i found you nice. yeah the ventura but i still have like figure. a little cutout clipping of, uh, yeah wow wow oh, and, you know just just when i thought that uh, printed advertising doesn't really work anymore <laughs> you know no that's that that was that was great and uh, yeah, so it was it was a great journey meeting uh, all the bands that we recorded uh, from Yay. I, I, I 
honestly don't even remember how many, but we actually did a lot of projects, you know, for, for Yay Records. But uh, the way I came into the band, um, I, I've always really loved classical music. Um, I studied the violin and the cello um, in, in, in the, you know, the classical method and whatever you want to call it. And, um, but I really, I, I'm really interested in creativity using all of that. And as much as I love classical, I wanted to do something different. And I wanted to do something that uh, has to do with rock and roll and that has to do with new ideas. And I remember that one of the most enjoyable moments that I had as far as musical experiences has always been relating to people who are like-minded and making friends by making music. And after you know being in the classical world for so many years, here I am coming back to playing in bands, uh, making new songs and trying to incorporate a new way of putting uh, uh, the classical instruments like the cello, except it's electric, and the violin, except it's also electric, uh, now in the different styles, you know. So I really like what I'm doing here um, in the Crystal Tears. It's a very interesting combination of instruments. Yeah. I remember the first time I met you. You, you, you came in and Eric had sent you over to do sound. And uh -huh. uh, so and we had all this stuff going on and you're asking me all these questions. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I have, I have right, all the yeah. stuff that people tell me to buy, so it's kind of on you. I said, I'll, I'll be your guinea pig. You tell me where to go, dude, and I'm trying to help you out, and, and you, and you wired no, it all yeah, up. No, yeah, I really that appreciate evening. that, man. Uh, it, here the, trust me, it was, it, it was uh, a lot of sweat and tears earning yeah. that knowledge because, uh, you know, I just kind of bootstrapped that, 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 that studio also with the help of my family. You know, uh, mom and pop also helped me out, of course. So I learned a lot that night, because, man. I learned a lot yeah, that night. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but also, but also, you know, I mean, it's uh, maintaining the, maintaining a business first of all, and then and then uh, finding clients and all of that, and uh, you know, learning how to use the technology. I mean, that that's that's trial and error, man. Yeah. So mostly mostly error actually. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of excedrin consumption. Yeah. You know, yeah. Not sponsored, but you know, it's it's uh yeah. But what I'm saying is, you know, it's, yeah, there was there was a lot of failure. That I had to figure out and stitch together. That's life, on, man. On, that's on my own. Life goes. So that's that's yeah. you know here we are. Well, good for you for sticking yeah. sticking forward, man. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So I'm Hector. Um, I play guitar, and uh, I'm in, also in a band called the Avocados. Um, we don't really play that much anymore, but how I got in the band, um, Eric hit me up one one day. He was like. Hey man, you still play music? I was like, no, but I thought I thought he was hitting me up because he wanted to go party, because you know that's what we used to do. But it turns out, you know, we ended up starting a band, and here we are now. So yeah, having fun. Hopefully, you guys like the music, and uh, uh, stay tuned. There's more to come. What's up? My name is Nesta Rivas, and um, I uh, first got my introduction to the Crystal Tears from one of my friends that was filling in from uh, for drums and uh, he told me that he had a, uh, a lot on his plate so I, uh, shout, I out shout out to uh, Logan Scrivener of Chatterton Jackson Jackson yeah yeah his Jackson Scrivener if you know him it's Logan Scrivener but uh, yeah so I've played music um, for most of my early teens into my early 20s um, and yeah, I've known Shane my whole life from the beach, growing up in Port Wainimi, that's where I'm from, the uh, neighboring city to Oxnard, so it's kind of the same thing, but it's also really nice to come from uh, Port Wainimi because it's so close to Oxnard and the music scene's been taking off over the last several years, um, which is really exciting, and so um, as a multi-instrumentalist, I started on guitar and uh, have played drums, picked it up through passion, love it, and uh, yeah, they needed a drummer, and I filled in the space uh, for the time, and I've had nothing but uh, a good time playing with Eric and everyone's good people in the band. And I love supporting the music scene and the community in Oxnard, so it brings a uh, um, a lot of gratification for me to come support uh, the elders and also just people that are trying to make Damn, make the. Getting up there, Shane. I mean that. I mean that. I mean that, I mean that, I mean that in the. Yeah, I was born. I was born in 2002, so oh, that's a little older. But I mean that. Yeah, I mean. You said OG. I graduated in 1990. Fuck. <laughs> I met uh, elders in the. 
elders in the like the respectful sense where they paved the way you know because because you know Shane no honestly because like Eric had uh, you know touched on where he was out of the music scene for about 13 years and you know just people I've played with or grown up playing around and who they have connections through where you know it is the people that had paved the way before you to you know that have introduced you to other musicians and venues and all that stuff like you know like you guys touched on the beginning of the podcast Eric starting shows here at Miss Olson's it's a really exciting thing to have um, people with um, experience in the scene and in the community to uh, let you um, practice your arts and, and be a musician so yeah that's pretty much it elders <laughs> yeah. you're gonna pay for that practice one day <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Nesta's got me beat by one year as the baby. <laughs> Typically, I'm the young one, but I guess you're younger than me. Um, hi, I'm Naomi, vocalist extraordinaire. <laughs> no, it's Not true. Um, Own so, it. <laughs> Own it. Fuck it. <laughs> no. Oh, you play the flute also? Yes, yeah. I, I started um, in band uh, in high school. I was a band nerd. Actually, middle school. So I played the flute for eight years classically. I don't really know if that has much to do with anything. It's just like a random flex. <laughs> but um, uh, the story of how I met the Crystal Tears starts with my other band, Nights on Neptune. Um, I've known them since like 2018. We barely started performing a year ago. I met Bayo through people telling me like, that's how you play Mrs. Olsen's, like the really cool venue at the time. I was like, oh my gosh, what a <laughs> cool venue I want to play there. Um, so... I asked Bayo if he could get my other band to perform, and we ended up performing the same night as, um, wait, no we didn't. Wait, was Crystal Tears performing? Yeah. On the November goth night? Yeah. Without me? Oh, I, I don't think no, so. No, you played a double set. Didn't you play a double set? I think we're getting it twisted, because we've played uh, two goth nights here now, or at least I have. But you guys only did one goth night. Oh, uh, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. I think. Because uh, I was with Boy Girl. And um, it was in November. It was the flyer that had Susie and uh, Robert on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the Bauhaus cover one. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, anyways. Um, and then they all like randomly messaged me. He's like, hey, I heard you singing in Nights on Neptune. Like, we're looking for a female vocalist. So um, I agreed to it. I had no idea, like, anything about you guys, really. Um, but I was honored that someone like scouted me to be their vocalist. Especially um, Eric, you, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that says a lot. Right? Says and lot. I feel so, like, ignorant in hindsight. I had no idea, really, like, who he is, but apparently he's, like, an icon in the Oxnard scene here. Um, <laughs> icon. Yeah, icon. Hey, if you don't know, you don't know, but when you know, you know, you know, so. He's one of the elders, yeah. He, he could be, like, my... Dad, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a really oh, young actually, dad, yeah, a no, it's possible. but like a really young it dad, like a, like a yeah, teen uh, dad. Yeah. Oh, he'd be a, he'd be a dilf. Real, real. This is. I, I won't say who she is, but one of my friends was really like, "Is he single?" I'm like, "He's 20 years older than you," but wow. I mean, pop off. <laughs> <laughs> um, 20 year season, 20 year season. Not Real. a lot of seasons. Real. You, know, you gotta really watch, change your wording a little bit, it makes it sound a lot better. Put them on the spot, these cheeks are getting red. Uh, <laughs> well, they're always red, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, in uh, Real, I, I really didn't even know like what my path would be with Crystal Tears. I was like, I'm willing to listen to your guys' tracks, try it out. Um, I kind of thought it would be a temporary thing because I didn't think I would be a vocalist that's in multiple bands. Yeah. But now I'm in like, I guess two or three or whatever people ask me to do stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, um, that's, that's, how you, that's how you to learn, you. bro. We are really grateful. Uh, yeah, I'm grateful for as yeah. long as the journey leads us. Also, to it's really fortunate that you decided to take the risk. Yeah. Because oh. sometimes we don't take risks and a lot of times we miss out on really fun stuff mm -hmm. because we, yeah, I don't know, we feel that we can't or we shouldn't, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but yeah. yeah. show up to yeah. the yeah. Yeah. That was great. If y'all remember yeah. anything from this, take away that I was like a super shy kid, never performed in my life. I've never gone on a stage until I was like... 23 years old like I've, I've never performed in front of anyone my whole life because I was terrified of it 
And um, now you open it up for Chicano Batman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> throughout, that's the throughout seeing so many musicians, I have seen the contrast of people who are super shy in person, but on stage they're monsters. Not, not that I'm giving you ideas, but my but son, hey, but my, hey, my, I don't know. My I son's mean, that way. He's you know, not going to talk much. He gets to it. He's like Mick Jagger. He gets on stage. I'm like, what is, what's going on? Where's that kid been his whole life? Boxed away. You know what I mean? He gets up there and just like, it's fun to watch. Um, but I, I'm so grateful for them. They're all awesome dudes. Um, and I would say like the biggest crowds I've gotten to perform to up until this point have been through them and probably here at Mrs. Olsen's. Like there's really yeah. a community here that shows up. It's so awesome. Yeah, and, and thank you for that. And you know, thank you. That's really come for people like Eric. You know, and I remember the first time he came and sat down with me, and it's like you know, he gave me his ideas, and I said, "Man, you you do you, and I'll just I'll open up for you." You know, and it's been great ever since, man. And you know, so let's give a little history. Should I call you Eric or Dilf? We'll respond to that. Bayo, Bayo literally means like pretty boy. I have a couple of friends that have been asking. <laughs> what? I have a couple of friends who have been asking. <laughs> Are you single or what? I'm straight edge. <laughs> so, Eric, Eric, yeah, Eric, Eric we've, we've, done a, we've, we've done a podcast before, but give a little history about yourself, man. He's a Leo. He's like six foot two or something. So am I, but yeah. <laughs> I am not six foot two, but I am a Leo. <laughs> what day? What day is your birthday? Uh, it's actually going to be on Wednesday, August 14th. Wednesday, 17th. Oh, nice. And, and Ezra, Ezra's is today. Uh, okay, Leo. Ezra's is today. Hey, that's right. Yeah. 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 You yeah. told me that. Yeah. yeah. So, cool. Yeah. Well, uh, so give a little something about yourself, Eric. Uh, well, I mean, honestly, I'm just really uh, blessed to have the, op the opportunity to perform that, that you allow us, your, your venue, your space, your, your kind of musical home and give us uh, a platform Absolutely. and so for me like that means a lot um, because I as I alluded to earlier you know I wasn't playing music for 13 years I was uh, really just kind of lost touch with myself and, and uh, purpose it kind of just didn't have a lot going on for me on a deeper level so to kind of reconnect with who I am as a core person I just realized that as, as a core person I am a creative and so I, I couldn't ignore that any longer yeah. and so 13 years later, you know, the way the universe, you know, laid it out, you know, everything is just kind of lined up and I'm listening to the universe more. And so, you know, reaching out to Ezra that day and, and you uh, with your space has just been like, you know, the universe telling me this is the path. Yep. Yeah, and, your spirit yeah. will take you where it's supposed to take yeah. you. And a lot of people don't, let, don't go with that spirit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And good for you for following, man. Because that spirit's always right, you know? Yeah. And, right. and I feel like the energy you have that you personally have that space has is really just connected with me too. Well, thank you for that. Thank you. So, hey man, you know, this was the second time you guys have been here, the Crystal Tears, and, you know, thank you so much for coming here. And, you know, obviously if this turns into different bands, whatever, you know, Eric, you know, you bring some of the greatest talent here and, and thank you so much for it. And uh, appreciate all of you coming here, sharing your talents. You know, yes, it's, it's awesome, and uh, it's good for the community. It's good for people. You know, music changes lives. You know, and so, yeah. and uh, what you guys are doing, and Eric, with your efforts, man, you've changed a lot of lives. People you don't even know you touch, and, you know, that, that's, there's a lot to be said for that. So thank you guys, and, uh, you know, great set tonight. That was a great set tonight. So Thank you. Thank yeah, you so absolutely. much. Right. Guys, Hello Crystal Tears, forever. find them on. Where, where, real quick, where can they find any music out in Spotify or Bandcamp, all that stuff? Spotify. Okay, yeah, check out the Crystal Tears, and uh, we're obviously going to have them back here soon, and when we do get that date, we'll put it out there for you guys. So, appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Oxnard. There you go.